Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be in Philippians 419. It's a very familiar verse. You probably, every one of you probably already know it. Um, even if you've forgotten the address when I, when we read it together, um, you'll, it'll, it's very familiar. You've probably heard many people quote it, many pastors preach about it, or at least mention it in their messages. So let's get started. Philippians 419, it says, but my God, shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We've heard that one time and time and time again. And so um, as I was looking at it just by itself at first, um, then as um, I have shared before, a good rule of thumb is not to pull out a, a, a verse just on its own. You want to read before it and you want to read after it. After it. Um, in my Bible, um, there's little, um, it's, it's kind of got some things divided up. Um, I like that. It's got some little, um, some little titles. It'll give you like a little section at a time. It helps you. It helps me in reading my Bible, um, to see it broke down that way. Whenever there's a change in a topic, then there's going to be a little new little title. So this one, um, in my, in my Bible, um, was, um, going all the way back to verse number 10 and then taking all the way to verse number 20. So that's the little section. So I wanted to read, um, whenever I, whenever I first noticed the first three words, but, uh, my God, and I love that, but, but God is, is some wonderful transition verses. Um, when you see a, but I like to look to see what happened before. What's the, but about, um, what is the, what's been going on in these verses and what's been happening is, is Paul has been talking to the Philippian church. He's wrote this letter. This is going to the Philippian church. He is expressing his gratitude and his thanks for them. Um, in previous, um, times in his life, it says here in, um, back here in verse number 15, it says, now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. He's thanking them of some previous things that they'd done. And then in this part of the, this later part of the letter, a few verses later, he's explaining, y'all have been so good to me and you've been so faithful. And, and he is, he's expressing his gratitude and his thankfulness for the Philippian church of making the sacrifice. It wasn't even just that they gave, they didn't give out of their abundance but it was a sacrifice for them to be able to give. It was hard for them to be able to give. It wasn't, um, oh, well, we've got, you know, plenty of money. I'll just give you a little bit of here. And it, it was a sacrifice for, um, for them to give. And Paul is saying, I appreciate it. And I appreciate it to the point where he says here in, ver in verse 19, but my God shall supply all your need. He was saying that I'm praying and I know that God is going to take care of you because of your wonderful attitude, your wonderful giving heart, and you're giving out of sacrifice, and you are helping me spread the gospel. You are helping me in my in my time of this, you know, this difficulty that he was going through. He's, you know, he's been going through He'd been traveling all through his missionary journeys, and sometimes he's been beaten. He's been in prison. Um, he has just had all kinds of trouble. And any time that they would, um, you know, hear about Paul being somewhere, they would send word. They would send supplies. They would try to take care of his needs. No matter where he was, they wanted to be a part of his ministry. Um, and when you and I are, you know, giving to missions or we're, um, you know, when we are participating with our tithes and our offerings to our local church, we are, we are doing that because of the love we have toward God and that we want to be a part of this wonderful work that he has got all of us engaged in. And so they are, um, Paul is feeling this, um, this um, connection with them that they are, they've been with him in the past. They're with him now in the presence. And he is saying, my God shall supply all your need. He's not just being, he's not talking about his needs. He is letting them know you have supplied my, my needs. God has used you in a big and mighty way to help me in my time of need. 
when he was in when he was in prison he would have needed you know different supplies when he needed writing material when he needed it was uh it was getting winter um sometimes he would and they would they would send him an extra coat they would send him an extra extra supplies and so they were trying their best to take care of the needs of God's man and so um Paul is saying here and it reminded me when it, we I when I hear about this verse um, I'm always thinking, but my God shall supply all my need. But that's not what this verse is saying. This verse is saying, but my God shall supply all your need. When you've done something and you've given sacrificially and nobody may know about it. It's not for us to, to, to share it um, publicly, but God knows all those things you've done in private, how you maybe have helped somebody, even if you've done it anonymously, um, even, you know, if you give sacrificially and it was you, maybe you had, um, you know, you chose to, instead of going out to eat, you're like, well, I'm, I can, we can do without that this week. I want to give this to this missionary or this, this need or this person who is going through a hard time who doesn't have any food. And I'm going to give up going out to eat this weekend because I want to, you know, help them with their, you know, get some groceries in their cabinets or whatever the case may be. There's all kinds of needs out there. There's all kinds of way that we can love on one another, that we can help one another, that we can make a difference. And you know what's going to happen? God shall supply all your need according to his riches, his riches, his riches are unlimited. Uh, my resources are limited. My abilities are inadequate, um, to say the least. My power is so tiny and so small. I barely have any power whatsoever, but my God is unlimited. Um, there is no, there is no mountain too high. There is no no river too wide. There is no obstacle that's too big. There is no enemy that's too strong. There is no, um, there is no limit to what our God can do. And whenever you and I do something for the, for the work of the Lord, God makes her, makes a record of that. He knows, and he is aware, even if nobody ever, um, finds out here on earth, God already knows, and he's going to supply all of your need. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.